Alrighty, so this is the golf cart we got delivered the other day and literally yesterday and auction listing showed the pictures of this having a collision damage. We're like, okay, cool. We'll bid accordingly, needs a front cowl, a couple headlights, um, you know, plug it into the harnesses and that's it. We're good, right? Bidding on it was insane. We get it in here, doesn't even start. Have to push it off the trailer. Okay, well, we'll get a charger for it. Well, I assume the charger connects into here charger is probably sitting at someone's house never even expected it to come with it 70 bucks not a big deal uh when this thing got picked up on a flatbed on the tow truck it probably most likely the charger is sitting at someone's home but what i didn't assume was when i lifted up the seat to realize all the main plugs for the onboard charger that's actually mounted to this bracket here is missing and without that alone this thing wouldn't have turned on which explains why the listing showed that the screen was blank which I was like, well, maybe the screen's bad because the listing said it starts. It doesn't start. This would not start without that. On top of that, the main plug for the main motor down there is completely missing for the ECU. There's another cable here that's missing for the ECU that connects to it. You got a BMS system, which is also, that's connects to the charger, by the way. You got a BMS system that connects to all these harnesses that go to the 52 volt lithium ion battery pack. That's the super expensive battery pack. And I said, you know what? Hopefully the battery pack is good. Check with our multimeter. Guess what? Battery pack is completely dead and it's shot. The main computer modules, there's four, five, another connector here. That's a solenoid that goes out to here and the converter is also missing on this cart. So somebody jacked all this stuff. Without all this alone, this thing would not have ran. So was it actually running at the auction or did we get scammed? So what we're gonna actually need for this thing, new lithium ion battery pack, almost two grand. The module, apparently there's a module that goes here, is completely missing, which is like the ECU that tells this thing to start. Without that, without the brain of this thing, it won't even start. That's why the screen wasn't on or nothing, but somehow Copart got it to start without ECU. Uh, very unheard of, I don't know. Very, I'm not gonna jump to conclusions, but. This right here is also missing another brain box to it. The main charging onboard unit and the brain box to that module is missing. The brain box to the drivetrain that we showed down there, those two clips are also missing. What do you know? As you can see, the seller is also not a small dealer. It's USAA. It's an insurance company. So I'm gonna throw up pictures online to show you guys everything on there on this golf cart so you guys can actually see what the listing said on copart and you guys could actually figure it out yourself did we get scammed did we not kind of a bummer because you bid it accordingly thinking that that's all you need it starts up and then you get here and you realize it just feels like you've been robbed and lied to not only by whoever did this or however this came there but also by the auction company we bought plenty of stuff from there. We've had our hiccups. We bought IA before, never had issues, but it seems like we're having issues with Copart for some reason. Well guys, the golf cart is going back to Copart, unfortunately. And uh, well guys, the golf cart is going back to Copart, unfortunately. It was a bad buy, it doesn't run or drive, and uh, it takes a lot of money to get this thing done, so they didn't want to pay for it. They did offer to buy it back from us, and then regards because they didn't announce it running and driving but uh yeah it's it, there's no way it runs and drives electrical nightmare you're missing ecus cut harnesses i mean the whole thing just messed up well as you guys can see the copart listing shows that the engine started um it doesn't say run and drive but it says that the engine started now first of all this thing doesn't have an engine whatsoever um it doesn't even start or power on nothing at all powers on because all the harnesses are cut so we reached out to copart upon going back and forth they actually picked up the golf cart they don't want to work with us at all and well they re-auctioned it two weeks later we actually saw the listing we've seen the golf cart I've already ordered parts for the golf cart beforehand and they didn't want to work with us to give us, you know, even five, 600 bucks towards the parts. So I decided to bid on the golf cart again after we uh, had already previously won it and after they picked us up. 
Well, we won it for $1,300, something like that, a little bit cheaper than what our originally winning bid was now that it was actually advertised properly. So if Copart would have worked with us pretty easily in the beginning, well, um, <laughs> it would have just only been a five $600 loss to them. But they had to pay for a tow. They had to pick it up, wait two weeks, and go through this whole process. And then we ended up winning the golf cart back. And now that the parts are, are with us, we're going to go ahead and put them all back together. All righty, take a look at this. We got our harnesses, our resistor packs, this stuff, some of the stuff that I don't even know what it does, to be honest. I know that's a hold-down tray. We got our motherboard chip, all the stuff that was stolen out of this thing. And the battery pack's open. I'm going to attempt to put it back together, and then we'll worry about tightening all this stuff. I've already got this connected, but... I just want to make sure this thing works because we don't even know if the golf cart powers on works or anything. And we already invested almost a thousand something dollars in this plus the price of the car, you know, a couple thousand dollars there. So we've got a lot of money. Well, not a lot of money. I guess about four thousand dollars invested into something that's uh, kind of a hopes and dreams, I guess. All right, guys. So you guys have to bear with me for the noise. It is pouring out here today. But we got this golf cart all put back together. We got the main board back in here. As you can see, it's lighting up green, so I'm guessing that's a good thing. All this harnesses and everything that we spliced back and everything else is good. All this right here got wired up. We've got all the old wiring all out of here, replaced most of it, and got it all together. So I already hit the reset button right here. That's lighting up green, so I'm guessing that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and see if this thing turns on. Okay, that lights up. I heard a click here. Oh, dang, it lit up. We have 366 miles on this thing. Whoa. Okay, let's see if we can figure out how to drive this thing. I'm not gonna put the cover on this thing yet. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and do this again. Nothing's covered up. I mean, I just put the seat back on. We got power, okay? And we're gonna be in uh, reverse, so 366 miles. And uh, let's see, is this turn signal here? What is this stuff? I don't know what that is. This little knob right here, I'm not sure what that does, but we'll figure it out. This is your high and lows, maybe? No, I don't know. All right, let's go into reverse. I hear beeping, and let's push on the pedal. We are moving. What the heck? We are moving, guys. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here. How much room do we have back there? Kind of close, aren't we? Don't hit the wall. There we go. All right. Now we got to put it back into drive. All good. Let's see if it goes for. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, so it is pouring out here, probably not the wisest idea, but I want to bring it into the other side of the barn. So let's go around and see what this thing does. Oh my goodness, first drive and we are driving this thing in the rain off-roading. Now we got to make it past this Lexus into this little tight spot. Too lazy to move the Lexus, actually I didn't have the keys, but the cool thing with this thing is it'll make it. Look at that, we just drove right into the sh Woo, this thing's pretty quick. And the brakes were sliding on the epoxy. But guys, this thing is a runner. Take a look at it, dang. Well, we got the golf cart in here and I wanna just give a huge shout out to Gone Coastal Cards for hooking it up with all the parts, all the questions and everything else that we had to answer. And also Brian off the Facebook forums, if you're watching this video, Huge shout out to you, technician on these things, sending us all the sketches, the wiring diagrams, and even live videos of how everything goes together because guys, there's no way I would have thought we could get this thing. And you guys do see Lamborghini on this thing, don't you? Who knows, we may wrap this whole entire thing, maybe. I don't know, let us know what you guys think. Should we wrap the whole thing? Put some badges on it, make it a Lamborghini golf cart. I don't know. Let me know. Maybe a Ferrari golf cart. I don't know. But huge shout out to them. 
gone coastal down in Surfside Beach, Myrtle Beach, and uh, they hooked us up with a bunch of stuff at cost. Thanks once again. Couldn't do it without them. Crazy. Well, guys, you guys see this whole thing, how it's all going? The golf cart drives. We drove it into the shop. Let's go ahead and get this thing all covered up because as you guys can see back here, as you guys can see, take a look at this. The lid was off and I don't want any water on here. So we're gonna go ahead and dry out that lid that's sitting here, put it back together, make this look nicer, you know, hide the wires, tuck them, whatever. Clean it all up in here really. And that way this thing's good to go. And then we're gonna be going ahead and starting on the front end. Cause don't forget, we still gotta go ahead and work on the front end. We got our lights in and everything else. So we gotta go ahead and get this thing working. Well, take a look at this. Look how clean this thing looks. All wire tucked, ready to go. This right here is now more loose and everything. Got all those tucked in. And we also realized why that battery indicator right there is not working. And take a look at this. That right there is now powering up all because that little silver guy right here was not plugged in. But that was it. Everything works. Let's go ahead, put the seat back on. After we get the seat up, we're gonna go ahead and get this cowl. Hopefully we can take it off as one piece. Probably gotta replace the, yeah, we get, looks like we gotta remove the windshield frame and everything else. And then hopefully everything lines up. So let's go ahead and get on it. Yeah, brother, whatever, um, can, yeah, yeah. I'll hit him up and see when he wants to come by, you know? Yeah, let him know, man, hey man. Alrighty, take a look at this. So we got our new cowl inside this thing. There's the old one that was broken. The new one is in that packaging right over there. So let's go ahead, put this cowl back on the other thing. First, we gotta unwrap it. Take a look at that. That thing's not even mounted yet, but this thing's looking really easy. Super simple to remove, couple little clips, but the new cowl does not have holes drilled into here. So we're gonna have to drill new holes in here. As you can see, there's the uh, holes on the old cowl where it was broken off, but we'll just push this forward. And uh, this right here moves the whole entire like dashboard and uh, we'll drill them and then put those little clips back in. Two bolts here and that's it.
Well, take a look at that. The golf cart works. It's hauling stuff already. I'm not going to reveal what those wheels are for. You guys are going to have to just make sure you subscribe so you guys can see what those wheels are going on because it's literally standing. I'm looking at it right now. It's beautiful. One of the coolest spec cars that you're looking at. If you know, you know. Maybe you guys might be able to guess from those wheels. I don't know. Some people are pretty good on the internet. But let me know. Drop it down in the comments. Let me know what your next, uh, uh, you know, theory is of our build. What do you think we got? And on top of that, if you guys like this golf cart video, I mean, let me know what you guys thought on that as well. Because this is our first golf cart. It was pretty easy. Pretty cool. And we probably will do some uh, extra plans for this thing. Deck this thing out. Make it a little bit more cooler. Um, but make sure you subscribe. That's it for the video today, guys. Make sure you like this video. Comment if you have anything to say. And on top of that, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.